Hello guys and welcome to my new let's play uh, on Simon Family Farms map by MRG. I'm not sure if any of you have seen this map before but it's a great American map uh, focused on dairy farming. If you look at the PDA you can see that there's multiple farms scattered around the map. Uh, there's one hog farm on the map as well, there's another two, this is the main farm. However, in this let's play, we're going to be starting in the top right corner of the map and we own two fields, field number 10 and field number 9. So it's a 12 acres and 10 and a half acres, so 22 acres, let's say, overall. Uh, we're starting quite small. We've got some basin equipment. We've got a nice case tractor here. We've got a JD SDS 70 combine, a corn header, and a grain header. We've got a nice wheat pickup truck, we have a low loader, and yeah, let's just go to the garage. I'll show you. We've got two augers for the silos. Uh, I love how MRG implements these grain silos, uh, brock bands, where you have to actually use the augers to load and unload them. Um, so yeah, we've got a nice case, uh, 145 horsepower here. Uh, I picked all the tractors for the start and then as we go on with the series we're going to slowly upgrade into a bigger and newer machinery. Uh, so yeah, that's the combine we've got and a nice pickup truck. I love this pickup truck, it's so good. Um, we've got a plow. We've got a John Deere planter, 11 meters, and then we've got a cultivator with anhydrous, a new Taurus Robust spreader. I've not used this one before, I'm quite excited to use this for the first time. Um, and yeah, uh, that's a nurse tank for the anhydrous cultivator, some weights for the tractors, crop sensor. And that's about it, that's all we've got. I've just realized we've not even got a trailer, crane trailer, but I've got 10,000, so I don't think I can afford one just now. Uh, maybe we're gonna do some contracts or something like that to actually be able to afford one. I've got a rule where I'm not allowed to take any loans. I've got enough to get me started, so no loans and no cheating. Right, so if you look at a PDA, we can see we've got Field 10 needing plowing, and I've just forgot to mention obviously this series is going to be played in seasons. And at the moment, I'm going to start off. I'm going to start with three day seasons because I'll make it a, a bit more interesting to start because there's not much to do other than put the seed in the ground. So if we jump into the case tractor. Oh, I love the sound of this thing. Right, if we just jump in and see where our plow is, I think it's in this shed. Yep, there it is. Our little case international. Right, hook it up. And let's head to the field 10. I do have course play, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it. Maybe I'll use it here and there, but most of the jobs I'm going to try to do myself. If you guys would let me know if you'd prefer me to do time lapse of the lengthy jobs or what approach to take, if I should maybe set on worker or even course play and maybe crack on with other jobs, or if you'd rather 
see a time lapse of me actually doing it, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure I take that approach in the next video. Right, so if anyone's wondering, uh, I've got a track IR so I can look around by moving my head and I'm also using Logitech G920 steering wheel and the Logitech heavy equipment bundle side panel so I can look around and then a bit easier uh, front loader controls. Yeah, let's get this thing unloaded and it's got 43,000 I forgot to remove the mod which kind of gives like a government subsidy and I've got a feeling I might have to put the volume down a bit. Let's try maybe 40% of the one. I don't want to track to be louder than I am. So, I right, apologies. I had to cut there. Uh, just realized that my hotkeys for recording and uh, cosplay uh, same button. So I had to kind of do some adjustments there. So. I can actually start and stop recording without having it to interfere with course play. So yeah, if we start plowing this field, just do a few laps anti-clockwise. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to mention that I'm using realistic mud uh, as I quite enjoy uh, being able to use different tires which do actually matter instead of having singles or triples and it don't make any difference now I'll have to use maybe white tires and doubles or triples to be able to get through the mud especially if it's raining for my tractor not to sink into the mud so it makes it a bit more challenging but it's much more fun uh, I've also got into well kind of a manual transmission where I select forward and reverse with my gear stick and I've got a handbrake map to the gear stick as well. So yeah, let's crack on with this job. Um, I'll probably go do a couple of headlands and then maybe put it on time lapse or maybe set it on the worker. Yeah, I like this case tractor. I love the sound of it. Sounds really good, uh, especially when I'm changing gear. You can actually hear it. It's a pretty cool mod. It's only been put on Mod Hub yesterday, I think. There's a different 2008 version that's been there from before, but this has been added to the Mod Hub yesterday. Or maybe the other way around, I can't quite remember just now. Yeah, so I do like this map. Let me know, guys, if you check the map out here. Uh, he's had a better version on the mod network for quite a while now, but quite a few things were not functional on the map, so I thought I'm just going to wait for the version 1 to be released. And I'm not going to lie, I'm quite excited to be playing on this. Yeah, I'll probably do some live streams as well when I get more viewers. I uh, would quite like to interact with people a bit more. Looks like field 10 and field 9 are right next to each other. So, I don't know, this year I'll probably just do one field of maybe corn and one field of soybean. And then maybe in the near future when we get more fields around, maybe we can just plow this field together and make one big field. But I guess I'll need bigger machinery for that. At the moment it's obviously okay. Um, I'm going to be doing different crops on both fields, so I'm always busy through the year. Uh, for instance, one crop's going to be ready. By the time I harvest that crop, the other field's going to be ready as well. Instead of having everything ready at once. So we're just going to have to play with like growth stages and stuff of seasons. Uh, I might actually even do some cereal crop in one of the fields and then get some straw for TMR for the cows because we've got a cow pasture. But I'm not going to be rushing into the animals anytime soon because I want to make sure I'm ready. I've got all the equipment because obviously, as you guys know, uh, there is quite a bit of investment into the cattle. 
So yeah, let's crack on with this plowing. Oh, didn't quite mean to do that, I should have probably raised that. I do like this plow, but at the same time, the offset is a bit funny, so I kind of try to make it as straight as possible. Uh, especially when you use GPS and stuff, it can, it can be a bit tricky to actually not overlap and stuff. Yeah, this map looks a wee bit dull in the spring, but it is absolutely stunning when it gets to the summer time. I'll probably do a couple of shots uh, without the seasons just for you guys to see what it looks like. Um, I love the MRG maps in general, must a wee bit there. I think my top three favorite mappers are MRG, Lancy Boy, and obviously Oxygen David. I've not seen a bad map made by any of them, um, especially Oxygen David. The amount of detail he puts into the maps, I can't wait until he starts making American maps. He say he's gonna start on them in the next game, so. I am looking forward to that because uh, when you look at the amount of detail he puts into the British maps imagine what he's going to do on the American maps yeah quite looking forward to new Lancy Boys map coming out as well American life farming probably make series on that as well play with some bigger equipment Whoop, wrong button yeah get some bigger equipment there and um, yeah, I'll have some fun, maybe use some course play, uh, multiple harvesters and stuff, we'll see. Let's wait for the map first and then I'll decide what to do with it. But yeah, I'll definitely make series on that map. Um, I'm looking into probably running a couple of series in one time. Um, this is gonna be like, it's not quite a survival series, but I'm starting with low money and some basic equipment and obviously some of the fields are quite big, this field isn't big but if we have a look at the map um, you can see like field 8, field 7, field 6 are all massive, well 50 acres that's quite a lot, 60 acres, that's 52 for the two fields. So yeah, um, this map could do with some bigger equipment. Um, so hence I'm starting with some smaller stuff and then slowly upgrade them to nicer, bigger stuff, more shiny stuff. Uh, where on American life farming I'll probably just start with a bigger equipment straight away and then maybe run multiple harvesters and stuff. But obviously I have to see first, I have to see how big the fields are. And yeah, for something similar to Stone Valley then it would be great for some big equipment. I'll probably finish with headland and then maybe use GPS and then go up and down instead. I know I should have probably started with up and down rows and do the headland at the end, but it's, it's one of those things I'm used to. I know it's not how it works in the real life, but at the end of the day it's a game, isn't it? Uh, uh, I do like the new road texture, it's kind of... It still looks like dirt, but as an actual road, you can see a V edge there. Where on other MRG maps, uh, it's just a dirt texture. So it's interesting to see something different. Right, I think I should probably just start on up and down rows with GPS. So. Here, I know I'm overlapping, but it's better to overlap than miss some stuff. And guess what? I've not got GPS in this tractor, that's amazing. Oh well, I'm gonna put that money in use, <laughs> and I'm gonna have to look into what mob is, uh, what mod is actually giving me that money because 
I went through the list of my mods and I couldn't really find anything called government substitute or if any of you guys know what mod it is and could let me know I'd appreciate it only does it in the spring so it's one sum of money every year and I'll get that removed because I'll, I'll, I'll actually get rid of that money just now um, I'll probably remove like 25,000 and then keep oh, sorry about that <laughs> minus 50,000 and then keep some of that money for GPS um, yeah because I can't really be going around without the GPS mod I was sure I added it as well but I must have done it on the smaller tractor I'll just go around once again until I get to the farm probably oh man I really like this map I was looking forward to it so much Waiting for Elkader 16x map by MRG as well. That's gonna be an amazing map. Even though that was his first map, and as he said it himself, it wasn't as good as his other maps because obviously he was still learning and that. But it was an amazing map. I've put like well over 200 hours into. Uh, so I'm well excited about a 16x which is gonna come out in the next game probably next year or so he says he's gonna put about one year of work into the map so yeah looking forward to it right. um, I've not got a workshop trigger so I'll probably just buy one of those uh, toolboxes and place it somewhere in a farm so we can just use that next time we need it as well uh, at the moment I've got my planter and the lime spreader full, filled and then same with anhydrous nurse tank that's full at the moment so I've got something to use for the start and then after I'll just probably use the pickup truck to go get more when we run out Right, I'll probably just leave uh, here, leave the plow here. I quickly customize the tractor. Just wondering where I should put the workshop trigger. Maybe here. Yeah, this looks like a great place. Placeables, miscellaneous. I've got so many mods, I really gotta go through my mods because I do get some framework um, FPS drop, and I think that's caused by the amount of mods I've got. I've got about over 900 mods, I could really do with the space on my hard drive as well. Right, the trigger's this way, so. Oh, I can't place that. Can sort that out. Activate extended placeables. And. Now we should be fine. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I hate when it. Uh, Terraforms everything around it. Increase the strength. Uh, smooth. Right, well, D. Let's crack on. 
Another thing I have to look into is my brake pedal is not great. Uh, I probably have to increase the sensitivity or 8,000 is it not supposed to be 15. I'm not complaining, but normally I expect it to be 15,000. Right, everything else stays the way it was. Great. Let's upgrade that. Oh man, I love the sound of it. The thing I don't get is what is that kind of spread of sound? Is it like the air compressor filling up or something? I do like it, but I just don't know what it is. Right. What I'm gonna do is, I'll probably just reverse here. And start over here. Since it's not really straight, lower it down. Right, show you what you can See, this is the thing that I'm not enjoying is that offset. But anyway, let's just maybe set the root out first. A and I'll do set B. Right. And once that straightens out, we can sort uh, offset off. Still minus 0 0.94, and that is probably to do with this. Nah. Well, we'll just leave it there for now. Um, yeah, see, this is one of those things I don't like about this cloud. Same. What if we move it back? Right, that's not made it any better. I might actually just change the plow so it makes the things a bit easier. Um, let's see if we go this way. Right, still a bit off. Well, not a bit as off as it gets. Right, that should be it. Eh? Not quite, but... That's it, that's the problem solved. Still a bit of an offset, but at least it is actually covering the area within the lines. I'll probably have to do two passes over that bit on the left, but as long as it's working, It's a good looking tractor. I do like how Modder started adding like a, a bit of a yellowish headlights, which is a bit more realistic, especially for the old tractors. Because what it used to be before, everyone had every tra every machine had this new headlight look, where with these, it's a bit yellowish. It uh, represents the older machinery a bit better. Right. Yeah, so it does look like hell. That is a bit odd. Yeah, what I'll do, I'll probably just get a different plow and come back in a minute. Right, so I decided to go for a chisel plow. Uh, it's a, a little bit wider, but 
it does need more power as also we might struggle up the hill and stuff our tractor is 285 horsepower and the chisel plow is needing 270 i think um yeah it says 270 and we are at 285 we still got i think we can still go up in power on that tractor i might be wrong though but we'll see how we get on with it uh, as you can see now gps works fine as well so it did make sense changing for this plow and i've changed the time to 1 pm as well because i realized that i started the video a bit late in the day and it was getting dark so since it's our thursday it doesn't really matter just change it back to times five and I thought our money down to 10,000, so hopefully no more hiccups and we can just crack on with our series from now on. Uh, it's missing a little bit here, but it's not a big problem. We'll just go back to it and it'll miss a bit here. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy the series. Uh, I know I'm still struggling with my mic skills is probably gonna take me some time to get used to it. i feel a bit embarrassed but i guess practice makes it perfect so stick around and maybe enjoy the journey of me trying to improve on this youtube challenge youtube ch journey mm -hmm. let me know if you guys would like to see some live streams as well i'll happily to I'll, ha I'll be happy to do some live streams but obviously timing might be an issue because i see a lot of streamers do stream well it might actually work out well because uh, quite a few streamers are streaming very late and the night well it's late for me it's probably okay for american players because uh, i'm in the uk so when I, mrg streams it's normally 1 a.m in the uk but we can work something around that uh, if you just leave a comment and let me know if you'd like to see some live streams and um, it'll probably give me a bit more confidence as well having to, someone to talk to but yeah i'll crack on with the series and we'll see how we get on i've done a video first look video in the, one of the new uh, maps on the mod hub yesterday to kind of break the ice for myself I've uh, been thinking about starting YouTube for a while now, but just had this fear of the first video, um, which I do feel like I have overcome now. Still a long way to go to actually improve. And, but yeah, main thing is to stick to it, I think, not give up, and it will get better eventually. I'm just gonna change the GPS so I'm not missing that little line there. Uh, it's alt and home, left alt and home button to realign the GPS lines. I've seen quite a few people struggling with that. So you press left alt and home and then you have to move your tractor either forward or backward for the lines to actually appear in the new location. Um, yeah, just gonna, probably gonna put this bit on time lapse. And I'll get back to you guys when this is over.
Right, so we're almost done with the field. Uh, another what, two passes to go. I'm quite happy I've changed for this plow. Um, obviously that two extra meters in comparison to the previous one really helped. Uh, saved quite a few passes. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna finish plowing this field and gonna leave it there for this episode. I would really appreciate if you guys would give me some feedback. I know there's a lot for me to improve, so yeah, if you let me know where to start and what to do, uh, it would be great. It would make the videos more enjoyable for yourself as well. Um, I know a funny thing I've noticed, that's about an off topic, but field 9 here on the left is a cornfield and somehow it doesn't need plowing, where this field does need plowing. Which is quite funny, if you look at the PDA, field 9, no plowing needed, and previous crop corn. That is a bit funny, I thought I'll just mention that. Um, but yeah, one more pass and we're done. Um, I'm thinking in the next episode we're probably going to start spreading lime on this field and I'm thinking to plow the other field even it doesn't really need plowing in game but just to be a bit more realistic I think it might be a good idea but we'll see how we get on with this field first. I'm uh, going to use the anhydrous cultivator uh, that's going to save us from having to fertilize after. Uh, also, soybean weirdly doesn't need any fertilizer, so it kind of makes the whole process a bit easier. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we do soybean this year. I'm, I'm definitely going to do corn on one of the fields. Because um, what I like about MRG maps is he implements corn stalks into the game, and if you look at the cows, cows actually require corn stalks. I really do like that. Also, we don't need cleaning, which is another thing I do. Uh, another thing I really like, because um, cleaning animals is. I mean, yeah, you have to clean them in real life, but having to clean that spillage in a feed drop in game is, meh, kind of waste of a time in my opinion. It's much, kind of much more realistic not to have to clean the feed trough well. I'm talking, talking nonsense there, uh, but yeah, I, the f I do like not having to clean it, but I guess everyone's to their own. Um, yeah, that's the field finished, and as I say, I'll leave it for this episode. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave me a like, don't forget to subscribe, and once again, please give me some feedback so I know where to improve. Uh, so the videos are more enjoyable for yourself right thank you very much for watching i'm just gonna park the plow park the tractor put the plow away uh, another thing i do need is a place to wash my tractor and implements which i'll probably get in the next episode gonna get a jet wash right i'll just leave it here for a minute don't want a dirt implement in the shed that's for sure Right, better get rid of my GPS, it's not getting in the way. Right, thank you very much guys, thanks again for watching, and yeah, as I say, if you don't mind leaving a comment, that would be highly appreciated. Thanks, and see you next time.